All right, my name is Dr. Rayshon Ray, aiming to speak truth to power, and this is my daily thought. Imagine what life would be like if women were not part of the workforce. Imagine what would happen to families. The traditional view that men stay, that, that men go out to work and women stay at home simply does not exist um, in 21st century America. Probably should have never existed. I mean, if we go back to, uh, to the mid-20th century, when... Uh, when World War II was going on, women were the ones who were working, who were doing everything, working in manufacturing jobs, playing sports, doing everything, holding down the fort while men were at war. And so as we think about International Women's Day, a day without a woman, um, as I think about these particular days occurring um, essentially on my grandmother's and my wife's uh, birthdays, and thinking about what life would be like if they were not in my life, um, if they hadn't sacrificed the things that they've sacrificed. So this is a message to mostly men about what we can be, what we can do to be allies to women who actually want to see progress being made. Because the thing that we don't realize is that uh, the pay gap between men and women is still so. So women still make about around 79, 80 cents of every dollar that men do. And these patterns occur even for people who have college degrees and even for men and women working in the same fields which is oftentimes something that people don't think, oh, well, the reason why women make less than men is because they don't work in the same fields. No, that's actually not true. Uh, research shows that even working in the same fields, we still, still see these disparities. So what can you do? Three things I wanna leave you with. First, you can advocate. You can advocate at work. You can advocate um, at school. You can advocate at the organizations that you're in. And what you're advocating for is equal pay for equal work. Um, you are also um, advocating for women to be treated with the same level of respect and deference as men are treated in the workforce. So the first thing you could do is advocate. The second thing you could do is you can assess. You can assess what's happening in your own household. There are actually surveys that uh, you and your partner can actually do at the same time. My wife and I do these. And what they allow you to do is to actually see um, how much housework you're performing and caregiving you're performing relative to your partner, and more importantly, what your partner thinks. So oftentimes studies show that men think that they're performing 50% of the, of the housework and caregiving when, when in fact women are like, no, you actually perform uh, perform significantly less. So actually do this assessment, check in with the caregiving and houseworking you're doing. And if you're not doing enough, step up and do that. Third thing you can do is you can advance. You can continue to push for these changes at working at home, as well as in your personal networks by checking comments that people make that are sexist. Um, and also checking people's comments about women's worth and competency. And also tell your friends to do these same sort of assessments in their lives. So as always, Conversations matter like black lives and books, and I hope this has sparked one. Biggie, baby, baby.